At 8 a.m., the bailiffs moved on to part of the site known as Grow Heathrow. One protester chained themselves to a wind turbine tower, another in a tunnel. He caught us a little bit off guard. Terry lives in nearby Hayes. He's been involved here for the last nine years. Why? What's it all about? Against the third runway and what they're doing to the environment around here. We still can't get down, any no, real like, figures of what the air quality is like down and they, like, led me through the garden, uh, the garden. It must be bad because they won't let us have the, the official figures. Anti-expansion campaigners moved onto this derelict site in the village of Sipson in 2010. It started as a protest against the third runway at Heathrow. Then this village was due to be demolished. Plans for the runway have since changed. There is still a really strong community here of children, of old people, who, and the air pollution levels are crazily high. Before you even start talking about the kind of environmental damage that building the third runway will do. The fight goes on. The fight goes on. Ninth birthday party in a few weekends' time, and we're preparing for that. It's going to be beautiful. During the morning, one of the protesters was cut away. One, though, remains in the tunnel although the bailiffs have secured half of the site. The bailiffs have now taken over the front section of this site and the protesters have moved to the remaining land. They say they're going to stay here indefinitely. The government and the airport say a third runway is good for jobs and the economy. Here though, they say the environmental price is far too high and they won't be moving. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.